YouTube, how's it going? Welcome back to the 2021 golf season. Today we got back out on the course for our second, well technically our third round of the year. We played a round in between that we did not record, which we ended up shooting an 85 on a par 70. And honestly, my goal for this year is to get to below 80 on a round, so we're getting just that much closer to that goal. We're playing from the whites today and it's a little bit over 6,000 yards from tip to tip. And one thing to note about today is it's so freaking wet on the course that just to about any shot in the fairway may actually be three feet underwater. Let's head over to the first tee, which is actually a par four, pretty straight. There's a little bit of a hazard off the left and we are taking driver off the tee box. Honestly, bogey on the first hole is not that bad. If we had put our second shot on the green, we probably would have been in a better situation to hit par, but let's move on to hole two, which is a par three. We're gonna take a six iron off the tee. A double bogey on a hole two. I can't believe how terrible I am at putting. I did get a new putter this year, so I'm still trying to figure some things out, but I really should never three putt. So let's just move on to hole three. Oh, wow. Oh. I think I just skipped, skipped that. I actually had a pretty decent tee shot off of the fairway, center of the fairway, but it was so wet out there, I ended up just completely chunking the crap out of my hybrid. And then on our third shot, we took a seven iron and tried to put it close and we thinned the crap out of it. We skipped it across the water and it ended up just shy of the green. And then we were able to put it really close with a chip shot and ended up with a bogey on hole number three. Hole four now, it's a par four dead straight. Only thing is we're now in the woods. So I'm gonna play a little bit, kind of like a little and I'm gonna take a four iron off of the tee box so that way I can keep it in the fairway and hopefully get onto the green relatively quick. Get up there. Oh, you hate to see it. That's unfortunate. That was just absolutely disgusting. We got onto the green in two, and then we four putted to give ourselves a double bogey. Onto hole five now, it's a par five, dog leg to the left at the very end. So we're just gonna take another four iron off the tee box, try to keep it in the fairway, and then hopefully get to the green in three. Honestly, that should have been a par. I cannot believe that I suck so much at putting, but another bogey, we're moving on to hole number six now. Par four, dog leg to the right. We are taking driver off the tee box.
Another bogey, to be honest with you, it wasn't that bad of a hole. If we just hadn't hit our second shot over the green, we probably would have been in a really good spot to actually make a par, if not a birdie on that hole. One thing I need to really work on this year is kind of just try to find consistency across all of my new clubs, and that involves my iron, trying to figure out what club to hit from what distance. I hit them really well, but sometimes they take too much club. Hole number seven now, par five, dog lick to the left. Obviously wide open, we're taking driver off the tee. Ah, tip to the right. Oh man. <laughs> right there. Join me, my friend. All right. I mean, honestly, that was probably the most disgusting golf hole I've ever played in the last like two years. We ended up with the quadruple bogey. Hole eight now, par four. We're just gonna take a driver off the tee box, hopefully keep it in some form of a fairway, if not the fairway next to it, and then hopefully get to the green in two and hopefully sneak out with a par. Another double bogey, to be honest with you, if I hadn't chunked that chip shot off the side of the green, we probably would have made a bogey on that hole, but you live and you learn, we move on to the next hole. That was actually a pretty decent hole for me. I ended up taking a four iron off the tee box. It was 175 yards for a par three. We landed it just on the green and it bounced off. So we had to take a chip shot back on and two button. We ended up with a bogey on the last hole of the front nine. So after nine holes, we're 15 over, which is not that great. To be honest with you, I'd rather be under nine over on every single nine. But honestly, there was just a bunch of little stupid mistakes. There was a lot of three punts. There was just things that really shouldn't happen. And if I just took my time a little bit more on each hole and each stroke, I probably would have been less than nine over on the front nine. But that's where it's going to bring today's video to a wrap. We are going to be posting the back nine here shortly, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the back nine of this round. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, definitely show your support down below. And while you guys are down there, again, hit that subscribe button. Hopefully, we can get to 100 subscribers here very soon. But as always, guys, I love you all. See you guys later. Peace out.